Good morning. I hope we are all doing well on this amazing day. I would like to welcome you to Bay Mills Community College's 2022 commencement ceremony. My name is Tennille McLeod and I will be your announcer for today. If we could, we could have the flag carriers put the flags away. Thank you. It is absolutely great to be here today, to see you today, to see all of our guests, our staff, our faculty, family, supporters, and of course, the class of 2022. Yeah. Okay, you guys, that was a great start, but today is a beautiful morning, so I'm gonna say it again. And of course, the class of 2022. And to those that are attending the graduation ceremony um, online, good morning. Thank you for joining for us from afar. As we begin, I would like to take a moment to give a special thanks to the flag carriers and our singers on the drum, Chimi Gwetch. Before we get started, um, those that just came down and you might not know where everything is located, I'd like to just give a little brief reminder, those that are looking for the restrooms, they are located to your left. Um, and also too, we would like to ask you to stay after the ceremony and join us for lunch. Um, at this time, I would like to invite Bucko Dwight Tipo to the stage to give today's invocation. Please rise if able. First stay standing. Miigwech to Neil. Ani Bojo, Mother Nang and Dejna Kars. Hinoje Kaning and Dunjiba. Makwa Indorem. 
Nishwaninande, Nishnabe and Dao. Amiguicho de Sima Walamanan, Jawananan, Ingabianan, Minwan, Wadenan. Miguicho de Sima Wabung, Nakwegizik, Nakshik, Minwan, Tibikak. Miguicho de Sima. Wabanang, Jawanang, Mingishmuk, Minwa Tuwednang. Miguicho de Sema, Ishkat Mikwe, Mage Ndegashe Ki. Miguicho de Sema, Jam Nado. Miguicho de Sema, Tuwoy. We pray and give thanks with our tobacco one of our four sacred medicines, the Sema, along with Nishkandak, Nishkode Vusk, Minwa, Mingash. And we ask that those prayers that we've uttered are sent to the Creator. We ask with this tobacco that those good thoughts that we have today for our graduates or for our community members no matter which community you come from. We ask for good things. We ask that that each conduct cleanse and purify you. We ask that that Shkodi Wusk drives away that negative energy within you. We ask that that Mingash, those good things, that positive energy is brought to you. And these are the things that we ask for all of our graduates for their day today and for every day. And we say miigwech. Miigwech, Bako, and thank you for your words. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to invite our president, Mr. Dwayne Bedell, to come and say a few words. Miigwech, Tanil. Mabish, Makwa, Nandis, Nakas. Gnizik, Nadam, Gnizik, Ani, Natoji. My name is Noin Bedell. I'm the president of Bay Mills Community College. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome everybody here today. Uh, before I get started into my speech for the students, I just have to do one thing. I do this every year, but I'm going to take a picture of the student body. So students, if I can get you guys to make some happy faces or, or make, some, make some motion, I would really appreciate that. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you so much. It certainly is a great day to be here today. You couldn't ask for nicer weather. To me, it's, it's really nice. I'm not going to complain. It's a little bit on the warm side, but hey, we finally reached spring, right? After being delayed for about three to four weeks, but we're finally here. How about the class of 2022? Are you excited? That doesn't sound like excitement to me. Come on, guys. Come on. Are you here? Are you guys excited? Maybe if we can try one thing. Can we even can we get a little bit louder so that your colleagues who are participating on the live stream can hear you nice and clear? Let's do it. One, two, three. Let's go. Much better. See you next Well, as I reflected on what my message would be for today for the class of 2022, I realized I have a lot of things to say. So. If you bear with me, I promise that I will keep this nice and short. After I rehearsed it, it only took me about an hour to get through my speech. So I hope that you guys really settle into your seat and enjoy this very nice long speech. Of course, I'm just kidding. So I, I won't put you through that pain. So, Members of the class of 2022, the faculty and staff that are over here to my right, the Board of Regents that are over here in front of us, uh, distinguished guests, cherished family members and friends, Welcome to the Bay Mills Community College 38th Annual Commencement. It's certainly a pleasure to have everybody here today. <clears throat> Chief McGwitch for joining us on behalf of Bay Mills Community College. It's an honor to welcome all of you. Welcome all of you who are watching on the live stream and participating in the live stream. But before we get into too far in the program, 
I would just like to have one more round of applause because this is a round of celebration. I know Tanil did it already, uh, but I'm going to copy her. Let's give another loud round of applause for our graduates. Today, we are going to award 13 bachelor's degrees, 70 associate's degrees, 26 certificates, and 32 certificate of completions, and three Panay Immersion Diplomas are going to be awarded today. If you think about it, we have a lot of hardworking students. Some of these students were stressed while they were completing assignments. A few of them sweated about their assignments. I know when I was a student, I certainly did. And maybe perhaps a few of our students shed a few tears as they were working on their final assignments. But you know what, graduates? You did it. You did a fantastic job, and you're sitting here today. Graduates, I hope that you realize the amount of dedication and the amount of hard work it took to reach your goal. <clears throat> Class of 2022, I am sure that each of you are proud to be here today. I'm sure that each of you have started to ponder about your future move or your next move. Well, I'm, I'm here to say for today, graduates, don't think about that move. Sit back, enjoy today, embrace today, and reflect on the moments that got you into where you are sitting right now. You learn a lot. You also learn that you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. Uh, it may not have been easy, but again, you did it. Today, as you graduate, you will join BMCC alumni family. Like your fellow alumni, you will move on to do a lot of great things. Some of you may enter the workforce, some of you may transfer to a four-year institution, and some of you may move on to a graduate degree. But as you move to your, uh, to your new event, uh, venture, please remember the seven sacred teachings that you learned about while you were here at Bay Mills Community College. The first one is love, to show compassion, unconditional love, and hold your heart of all creation. Number two, respect, to hold in high regard all of the creation and treat beings with things with kindness, honor, and dignity. Number three is courage, to have a strong heart and confront those obstacles with bravery. Number four is honesty. To live with truth, honor, and integrity. Number six is humility. I'm sorry, number five is humility. To know that you're an equal part of the creation and to walk in balance with it. Truth, to embody honesty, love, respect, courage, humility, and wisdom. And finally, wisdom, to reach a state of an enlightenment. And I'm going to give you an example of this as, as we work through here. All of you are stewards of the seven sacred teachings. There are times that you helped a classmate, that's love. Looked at your peers, looked at your teachers and staff that they guided you, that's respect. Look challenges in the eyes, especially math classes, am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, that's courage. Ask questions when you did not know the answer and that's being honest with yourself and others. Being humble, acknowledging any mistakes that you make, being thankful, that's humility. Being honest with yourself and others, that's truth. And finally, when you have that aha moment where you can realize that you can accomplish anything, that's wisdom. As you are working today, I believe it's important to acknowledge the support that you receive from your family and your friends. Graduates, sorry to pick on you all day. Would you please rise, please? So without our support systems, you guys probably would not be where you're sitting at right now. So if you can look into the audience Take a look at your family members, take a look at your, at, at your friends, and tell them thank you and give them a round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you. Brad, let's go ahead and be seated. Thank you again. Family and friends, all of us at Bay Mills Community College appreciate you as well. Chief McWitch, for allowing us to be a part of your student's life, we are truly grateful. Graduates, you know that life is full of challenges. Some of you will conquer. Some of the challenges you will not conquer. But the question is, what are you going to do to change so that you are able to conquer that setback? Don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to fail. If you're afraid to fail, you will never know your full potential. If you're afraid of something, if there's something that you always wanted to accomplish or something that you're really passionate, my simple advice is just do it. Sometimes it's easier to say it, but eventually you just got to sit down and just do it. And to get to that, you have to set goals and you have to work toward them. Dream big, but set goals to accomplish your dream. This will help direct you on your next journey. 
Just to uh, give an example of that, there was an IT professional who decided it was time for a change. However, taking a look at potential changes, this professional had to really decide if he wanted to simply change careers or if he wanted to pursue something that he was really passionate about. This person happened to be very passionate about education. One morning while getting coffee, this person asked a simple question to a school leader, to which the school leader responded and said that, you know, you have the right demeanor to do this job, but a lot of work will be needed to meet the education requirements to fulfill this position. It was at that moment that this person really seized that moment, took that aha moment, and decided it was time to pursue what he was passionate about. Lo and behold, over several years of schooling, this professional decided to uh, continue his studies. Several years later, with a good plan in place, this person reached their goal. It's not easy. As you guys know, there are a lot of sacrifices, huge time commitments to where you're away from your family, and uncertainty. I'm sure all of you guys faced that while you were pursuing your studies at BMCC. However, taking the first step to embrace that challenge is the key. Establish your goals. Make your plan to accomplish those goals. That shows that you can work with anyone when you are working with your, with, toward your dreams. Again, this is where the seven sacred teachings will come in hand. You will need to sit back, think about it, strategize, ask for help from your support system, and put a plan in place to help you succeed. As Eminem said in one of his songs, if you want to succeed in the real world, then you better lose yourself in music. Lose yourself in the moment. You own it. And you better not let it go. You only get one shot. You better not miss out on your opportunity to blow it. The opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Remember, you're always welcome to come back to BMCC. Chief McWitch, for allowing us to be a part of your lives, it's truly an honor. McWitch. Thank you, Dwayne, for your kind words. At this time, I would like to introduce today's commencement speaker. But before I do, I'd like to share a little bit about this wonderful woman's background. Whitney Gravel is a citizen of Bay Mills Indian community, Ganujikani, place of the Pike, in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. After graduating from Michigan State University of Law in 2016 with a Juris Doctorate and a certificate from the Indigenous Law Program, Whitney worked for the Department of Justice with Environment and Natural Resource Division in the Indian Resource Section, where she worked on cases related to the scope of tribal lands and jurisdictions, treaty rights, and the protection of lands held in trust for tribes and individual Indian lands. Whitney also has served as Chief Judge of Bay Mills Tribal Court, where she worked on transforming restorative justice within her community. And again, as in-house counsel and attorney for Bay Mills Indian Community, where she worked on a variety of issues that impacted Indian country, including the Ch Indian Child Welfare Act. Currently, Whitney serves as president of the Executive Council on behalf of Bay Mills Indian Community and sits as a commissioner on the Michigan's Women Commission and the Michigan Advisory Council on Environmental Justice. Please give a warm welcome and put your hands together for Whitney Gravel. Uh, thank you, Tanil, and good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Whitney Gravel, and I want to start off by saying chi miigwech to Bay Mills Community College, uh, President Dwayne Bedell, the faculty, staff, and students, for the honor to join you today in the celebration of the graduating class of 2022. It is such a pleasure to share in the emotions that are here today in this room for all of you who are graduating and closing this chapter of your life story. To the class of 2022, I wanna say congratulations to all of you. I know it has been a long and hard road. Uh, the last two years of this journey have likely been not only the two hardest years of your academic career, but also the two hardest years of your personal life as well as we dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic. Under the constant fear and stress of the unknown for your family, your children, your friends, and your community, 
You had the difficult task of keeping up with your homework, writing papers, reading books, studying, taking tests, and completing exams. And as Duane mentioned, maybe a few tears, probably in my tribal law class, so I apologize. <laughs> and all of that can seem insignificant, especially when dealing with a lifetime pandemic. A pandemic that took away so much of the college experience that you were expecting. A pandemic that tested and pushed the boundaries of what we felt comfortable with as people. A pandemic that would challenge your belief in yourself to be here today and to graduate. I can tell you that having been through my own journey through education, no one has faced as many obstacles as you have to get here today. However, I know that you were working towards something that is bigger than all of that, bigger than a pandemic, bigger than your fear, bigger than your failures. You were working towards a future, a future for yourself, your family, your tribe, and your people. As Horace Mann once said, it is for education then, beyond all other divides of human origin, that is the greatest equalizer of conditions of men. You knew that even as the rest of the world seemed to fall apart around you, that the bravery, perseverance, and spirit that you summoned to complete your education will follow you long beyond today into your careers and into your personal lives for the rest of your days. I know this journey was hard, um, but you made it. You made it and you knew that even if you might stumble, you would get up and walk again. You knew that even if you might fail, you would succeed when you tried again. You knew that it was okay to fail because even broken crayons still color, and you believed you could, so you did. This is even more important because I know that many of the graduates here today at Bay Mills Community College are also first generation graduates in their families. That too is something to celebrate and acknowledge. You have come from across the state, from across the country, from various tribal nations to study, learn, and give back to your people. That is a unique obligation that Native students bear when they go on to higher education. And I want to pause and give that special recognition as well. You have overcome and excelled in a structure, an educational structure, a colonial structure, that was designed to work against you. And yet you made it. So I want to pause and Give you guys a round of applause. No matter what the world looks like, I'm here to tell all of you that you will now join the long line of Native graduates who have overcome disproportionate challenges and obstacles that we all face to achieve the most highest honor today of a degree in higher education. As you go beyond today, please remember that you can channel the power of what it means to be a student, what it means to be an indigenous person, channel it to take on the challenges of today, the challenges of tomorrow. You have everything you need to be a force within your community, within your family, and within your tribe. The skills, the teachings, the culture, and the ideas to change not only Indian country or Turtle Island, but also the entire world. So with all of that, congratulations on your outstanding achievement. I want to remind all of you that you are brilliant, you are able, you are meant to be here, and that you should continue to chase your dreams. Help your people, let your ancestors watch over you, give back, enjoy, rejoice, and give nothing but your best. Please walk proud into your future, knowing that you are unshakable, unafraid, lifted by the traditions of your people, guided by the wisdom and the teachings of your elders, and empowered and accomplished to achieve your dreams. In closing, I also want to acknowledge all of the family that is here today. You know, they, in our culture, in our community, it's about working together, being part of a tribe, being part of a people. And I know in my personal journey, and I'm sure for many of the graduates here today, that we could not achieve our dreams without our family, without our friends, without our community being there to support all of us. So thank you so much to everyone here in the audience. 
who are here to honor these fine young adults. So please join me one last time in saluting the graduates of 2022 of Bay Mills Community College. Uh, Twitter. Twitter. Today, we want to honor two of our faculty. So last year, we, we had a lot of restrictions because of COVID. And we weren't able to um, do as many ceremonies as we wanted to. And this is one of the, the ceremonial functions that we'd like to include in our graduation process. And that is to honor uh, a faculty member. They, they give so much. And this is, your success is so important to them. They work endless hours, year long, to make sure that they can give up themselves and, and bring everything that they can to, to help you get to your success, graduates. And they are so proud of you. All of us are. Um, so right now, I'd like to announce last year's Faculty of the Year award winner, and that is for the 2020, 20, well, the 2021 <laughs> academic year, Faculty of the Year is Jana Hutchinson. It's a good pocket, <laughs> just in case you need these later. Um, Jenna? Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to. Thank you. And for the 21 <laughs> 22 academic year faculty of the year, we'd like to honor Michelle Wellman Teeple. ladies, we're very grateful. Thank you, Sam, and congratulations again to Jana and Michelle. At this time, I would like to invite Michelle Wellman again back up stage to present the Freight Hugo Award. Michelle? Michelle, I know this. I've been asked to help present this next award. And before we do that, make this presentation, we'd like to reflect upon a man who made this possible, this award in our community. This is 
the 25th annual Frank Hugo, excuse me, Anishinaabe Bay Language Award made possible by Frank Hugo and family. So we reflect on this great man at this time of presentation. Frank Hugo was born in 1909 and lived till 1993. A respected Bay Mills Indian community elder, a hunter, a warrior, a fluent speaker of the Ojibwe language, Frank Hugo was a 20th century Ojibwe man who reconciled his traditional lifestyle with the modern living. He was born in 1909 to Frank and Charlotte Hugo. His great-grandmother was Betsy Berg, who was born in the early 1800s and died at the age of 106 in the 1920s. Three months before he was born, his father drowned while fishing. While attending the old mission school here in Bay Mills, Frank was spanked for speaking his native language. He was sent to Mount Pleasant Indian School, where he was not allowed to speak Ojibwe at all. He stayed through the eighth grade, completing his schooling. He was not better about his experience. He had the opportunity to travel, compete in baseball, but he was determined to never lose his native language or his identity. He went home, working at the CCC camps, lumbering up in Ackerman, and in the woods with his stepfather, Ed Olga. He was renowned as a hunter, putting meat on the relatives' tables while his grandmother and his mother gardened and gathered food. They all spoke in Shnavimwen, Mungwen, all together. In 1942, Frank joined the U.S. Army Infantry during World War II, landing at Normandy in the second wave of the invasion force. A scout and a truck driver, he served in northern France, Yardines, Rhineland, and Central Europe. He was decorated with the Victory Medal, American Theater Ribbon, and European African Middle Eastern Theater Ribbon. He had earned four bronze battle stars, serving three overseas bars and the service stripes and a good conduct medal at the time of his honorable discharge in 1949. While serving in Germany, he met and married Lisa Earnhardt. They had four daughters together, Charlotte, Frida, Heidi, and Lisa. His family was a big part of his life. His nieces meant as much to him as his own children. His sisters were Mary Hugo Lee, Frances Cameron, and my great-grandmother, Lydia Hugo Tifo. When his widowed mother married Ed Olga, she had five more children, Clara Olga Thompson, Angus Olga, Helen Olga Fish, Walter Olga, and Ethel Olga Passage. Frank and his family loved nature, continued to gather choke cherries, sugar plums, blueberries, and pine cones. If they came upon some ripe berries in the woods, Frank would whip together a birch bark basket to gather them. He remained active in tribal affairs throughout his life. He participated in old style council meetings under the handmade arbors and offered his home to visitors and guests. As an elder, he volunteered to teach the Ojibwe language in Bay Mills community. He traveled to Bay Mills from his home in the Sioux on nights, weekends, and even throughout the winters to teach the youth their native language. While language preservation is at the forefront of today's concerns, Back in the 70s, Frank was already committed to helping our community recover and preserve this beautiful language before it slipped away. And this is why we honor him by offering this language, this award in his name. When Frank visited his lifelong friend Sam Weishke in long-term care, the nurses said Sam could no longer speak, but he spoke that day with Frank in the Nishinaabemna, or Ojibwe language. Frank Hugo died in 1993 after a long struggle with Parkinson's disease. He sorely missed. He lived and died in the Nishinaabe, strong, caring, and humble. He passed on traditional heritage from time immemorial to his family and into our community. We are fortunate here to have this institution carry on our language our ways of life. And we think to our recipient reflects these values 
of which this award stands for. And Michelle is here to present our recipient of the 20th Annual Shanti Lange Award. Thank you very much, Christian. Hello. I'm Michelle Oman Tibon I'm from the Nunez. I'm from the Nunez. I'm from the Nunez. So it's my turn to talk about this year's recipient. Our um, 25th annual recipient of the Frank Hugo Memorial Anishinaabe Language Award is Calvin Hartwig. he's unable to be here today, ironically, because he's facilitating a meeting about Anishinaabe language um, with the tribe that he's currently working for, and that's the Red Cliff, uh, Lake Superior, Red Cliff Band of Lake Superior Ojibwe over in uh, Wisconsin. Um, but as the certificate says, he is receiving this scholarship because of his dedication, commitment, an outstanding achievement in preserving and perpetuating the Anishinaabe language through learning and acquisition. Um, I first had a serious conversation with Calvin about learning or acquiring Anishinaabe Mwen um, and about our Anishinaabe Mwen Pane Immersion Program um, at the annual language conference known as Anishinaabe Mwen Peg. Uh, the year that, that I met him and talked with him about that, I think it was 2017, 2018, can't remember. Things are a blur with all the COVID <laughs> stuff that we've had going on. Um, it, the conference took place in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan that year. And so then a year or so later, he came out and he started taking classes here at BMCC with Mike. He took the Ojibwe Language 1 and 2 classes. And then in 2019, he started uh, as a student full-time in our Anishinaabe and Winpane Immersion Program. He's um, also, as I've gotten to know him during his time in, in the program that I'm uh, the coordinator of, he, he is also, I've come to know that he also seeks out other first speakers and fluent speakers um, to mentor him and to help him continue in his language learning efforts. Um, and he has a master's degree in the field of filmmaking, so he's been able to combine his master's degree work with his language learning and acquisition work um, he uh, helped us over the last couple years, which again was a challenge because of COVID. We are working on five hours of video lessons that we will share with our language students here and local school district uh, language courses and teachers. Um, very soon it will be done and will be dispersed. Also, he um, submitted and won the Tribal College Journal student film competition with a film that he did, a short film about Anishinaabe identity and was inspired, I guess, by, by Mike and me and, and the other first speakers that work with us in our program to translate the short film all into Anishinaabe Mwen. And so that's what won him that award. So he's on a roll this year. <laughs> so we'll make sure he gets a certificate and we have a plaque over at the Bay Mills Culture and Language Center um, over on Tower Road that will have his name added to the other previous 24 recipients of the award um, and uh, a few other little gifts. So there's this 25th annual certificate and thank you all for listening. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to all the graduates. Meet you. Thank you, Michelle, and congratulations, Calvin. Moving right along. Um, honors and academic distinctions are amazing to achieve. For those that earn such distinctions, it means you worked hard. Each year, BMCC selects two students who did just that, worked extremely hard, and which those around them noticed. With this in mind, I would like to present to you BMCC's 2022 Students of the Year. 
Crimson Lewis has been selected as the American Indian College Fund Student of the Year, and Cole Bream has been selected as BMCC's Student of the Year. Both were nominated by their instructors based on their GPA, ability to overcome challenges, and community involvement while attending BMCC. Lewis, a resident of Pickford, hopes to be a physician assistant in the future. She attributes her success at BMCC to the small class sizes and instructors that are willing to go the extra mile to help. My professors are always willing to help me and stay late to make sure I understand what I'm doing, said Lewis. I feel comfortable and confident in my skills acquired at Bay Mills Community College. I'm looking forward to continuing my education to reach my educational goals at a graduate university. Throughout her studies, Lewis has worked closely with Science Department Chair Diana Kreiderman, who has no doubt Lewis will be successful. Crimson's dedication and perseverance has shown through her academic work. She's unafraid to use campus resources as a, and is a mentor to her peers, said Diana. Likewise, Bream has also made a positive impression on the staff at BMCC. Not only is Bream studying at BMCC, but he's also employed as a student worker, administrative assistant in the president's office. Cole has been a pleasure to work with. He is driven, detail-oriented, and always up to the challenge. Cole's determination to excel in his studies and workplace will allow him to succeed on any path he chooses, stated Samantha Schroeder, executive assistant to the president. Bream also plans to transfer to Lake Superior State University, where he will major in engineering. He spends his free time mentoring high school robotics team. In addition, he enjoys photography and writing. BMCC has helped me by offering online courses, which has enabled me to fit school around my schedule perfectly, said Bream. I also enjoy the Native American-centric education given by BMCC, as it is very important and often overglossed in other classes. I would ask, at this time, I would like to ask Duane and also our Board of Regents to come on stage to present this award to our students. Please join us. So if I can uh, have Mr. Cole Bream, who is the Bay Mills Community College Student of the Year, please come up. Let's give him a round of applause. Next, I would like to invite Miss Crimson Lewis up to the stage. She is our American Indian College Fund. Cole Bream, and this is Crimson Lewis. To begin, I would like to say thank you to everybody for coming to the lovely ceremony today. It has been, I would also like to thank my family, my friends, and all of the wonderful professors, staff, and faculty at BMCC who made it such a wonderful place to work and learn the past two years. I began my college journey spring of 2020, perhaps like lots of you, right at the genesis of the pandemic. 
Nobody knew what was happening or what was going to happen. The world felt like it had reached a standstill. All classes were online. Face-to-face -face was forbidden. Everybody would agree that this is not the ideal environment for a student to flourish. Despite that, and any other hardships or roadblocks you faced, we're all in this room today. I think that's cause for celebration. Congratulations. If I know one thing about giving speeches, it's that uh, I can use quotes to uh, artificially make it longer and make it sound like I'm a little cleverer than I am. The first one I'd like to share is you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. This is a quote by Oprah Winfrey. Anything and everything is possible. I promise you it is, but it will not be given. The second quote I'd like to share is the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. This is a quote from the late Eleanor Roosevelt. And I agree with this one just as much as the first. Everything that has ever been accomplished in this world, every, event, every single event, every accomplishment, both small and large, every breakthrough in politics, economics, medicine, philosophy, all of it was because people dreamt of a solution to a problem and followed it. The past has already been decided. It's been etched in stone by those whose names are in the history books. The future is conversely undecided. It might feel like everyone's fate is sealed and that we're simply spectators to history unfolding, but that's not the case. The outcomes of events yet to unfold and those unfolding now are directly and exclusively influenced by those who believe enough to chase their aspirations. Allow me to repeat the second quote. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. The future belongs to you, to us. It is not limited only to those with youth or to those born with power and influence, simply those who have the courage to make their mark. History books of the future will be populated with names we've yet to learn by people who don't know they'll be remembered for counting events unfolding now. And there's no reason your names can't be among them. Allow me to again repeat the first quote. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. A better future is possible. If you're unhappy with the present, it is your responsibility to do what you can to ensure that your dreams are the future. Nobody else will do it for you. The two quotes I've referenced were said decades apart by two wildly different people, two people who would maybe even wildly disagree. But nobody can argue that they didn't have the guts to chase their dreams. And I think the quotes work very well together, completely independent and removed of either of their personal beliefs. The future can be yours if you have the courage to take it. My name is Cole Bream. Congratulations to all of you and to Crimson. And thank you for your time. Thank you, Cole and thank you for your contributions to the school and the community. I wish you the best and extreme success in your future endeavors. I am glad as students of the year, we were able to come together and prepare these speeches. I hope future students of the year will be able to come together and work together on a project like this. Hello everyone, as Cole previously introduced me, I'm Crimson Lewis. Thank you all for attending the ceremony today to celebrate the achievements of the graduates. I really never would have imagined speaking at graduation, especially college graduation. I am honored to have this opportunity to share with you my experience at Bay Mills. I would also like to introduce an amazing quote that ultimately paved the way and for my ambition and drive throughout my college experience and will continue to inspire me for my future endeavors. You're not meant to do what's easy, you're meant to challenge yourself. Justin Timberlake. When I began my health science degree, I was scared and I almost gave up. However, I remembered where I wanted to be in five years and I knew it wasn't gonna come easy. I knew I had to do everything I could to succeed and challenge myself, even when I cannot remember how many ATP are produced in the citric acid cycle. 
<laughs> I am delighted I was able to overcome my challenges and achieve my goals. I think it's important to not lose hope even when something is challenging. I am so glad I chose Bay Mills and I'm grateful for the amazing faculty that make up Bay Mills Community College. The ability to easily access each and every one of my professors and get the help I needed to gain the knowledge and confidence to achieve my goals helped me immensely and I will be forever grateful for all my professors. I am so honored to have faculty and staff that led to my success. I was not only able to reach my goals, become close with my professors, but I gained knowledge that will help me in my future career of treating patients which includes providing dental care and advising patients on oral hygiene. I look forward to continuing my higher education. Pursuing my higher education goals, I plan on attending Ferris State University for dental hygiene. I look forward to serving my community and using my knowledge to help others. Thank you to my family, my professors, and friends that helped me reach my goals and success. Be positive, principled, proactive, and productive. And remember, you're not meant to do what's easy, you're meant to challenge yourself. Congratulations, graduates of 2022, and thank you everyone for being here today. Thank you, Crimson and Cole. At this time, I would like you all to please rise, if able, for the honor song.
Are we ready? You guys can be seated. Thank you. So it's that time. At this moment, I would like to ask Sam Cameron, Vice President of Academic Affairs, to join me on stage to present our 2022 graduates with their degrees. Likewise, I would like Dwayne and the Board of Regents to line up on the lower section so students can also shake your hand. Are you ready? This is the exciting part. So we, we do have several of our graduates that are live streaming. They may be watching. So we're going to read their names also. Um, when we get to your name, please, please come up. And, and um, we would like to honor you. Our first graduate is Christine Blumenshine, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Crystal Hickman, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Ariana Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Jennifer Lewis, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Taylor Nelson, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Christina Nichols, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Stephanie Noss, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Ashley Tadgerson, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Kimberly Troop, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Jessica Yellowboy, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Trinity Bowen, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems. <laughs> Nina Hogue, Associate of Applied Science, Construction Technology. <laughs> Cassandra Cardinal, Associate of Applied Science, Office Administration, Associate of Arts, Business Administration, and Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. <laughs> Brianna Friel, a 
Associate of Arts Business Administration, Certificate Michigan Transfer Agreement. Barbara Kennedy Mackey, Associate of Arts Business Administration. Rachel Keyes, Associate of Arts Business Administration, Certificate, Michigan Transfer Group. Tricia Kaczynski, Associate of Arts, Business Administration, Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. <laughs> Loretta Robinson, Associate of Arts, Business Administration, Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. Angela Tadgerson, Associate of Arts, Business Administration. <laughs> Robin Teeple, Associate of Arts, Business Administration. Katrina Wade, Associate of Arts, Business Administration. <laughs> Caroline Wolkoff, Associate of Arts, Business Administration, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Candace Hurt, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice Corrections Emphasis. Mitchell Willis, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice Corrections Emphasis and Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. Jennifer Cook, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Angela Francis, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Deanna Johnson, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Jennifer King, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Rachel Larson, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Felicia Mitch, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Jamie Pugh, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> A 
Elizabeth Smith, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Ray Lynn Hunter, Associate of Arts, Education. Rebecca McClellan, Associate of Arts Education, Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. <laughs> Lily Parrish, Associate of Arts Health and Fitness, Certificate, Health Science, and Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. Thomas Stevens II, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Melissa Jensen, Associate of Arts, Social Science. Selena McDougall, Associate of Arts, Social Science. <laughs> Trenton Malport, Associate of Arts, Social Science. Natalie Miranda, Associate of Arts, Social Science. Elizabeth Shields, Associate of Arts, Social Science, Certificate Michigan Transfer Agreement, and Certificate Early Childhood Education. Morgan Gates, Associate of Science, Health Science. <laughs> Lillian Horka, Associate of Science, Health Science, Certificate Health Science, and Certificate Michigan Transfer Agreement. <laughs> Crimson Lewis, Associate of Science, Health Science, Certificate Health Science, and Certificate Michigan Transfer Agreement. <laughs> Catherine Miller, Associate of Science, Health Science, Certificate Health Science. Certificate, Michigan Transfer Agreement. <laughs> Abigail Lovin, Certificate of Completion of Corrections. Certificate of Completion, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Haley Harmon, Certi Certificate of Completion, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Ira.
Abriel Hoholik, Certificate of Completion, Early Childhood Education. Cindy Peake, Certificate of Completion, Early Childhood Education. Violet Shields, Certificate of Completion, Early Childhood Education. Alexander, Certificate Medical Office. <laughs> Thomas Toothorn, Diploma Anishinaabem Wen Pene Immersion, four years. Toothorn, Diploma Anishinaabem Wen Pene Immersion, six years. <laughs> Graduates, maybe the president would like to do the honors. If you'd like to stand, we've got one more. We want to make sure everybody's together. Well, two more. <laughs> this is it, guys. You're almost there. Now you might think this is a long process, but really, you've been working for this for years. We should take our time. <laughs> Are you ready? So you want to take your tassel and move it to the other side. You are graduates. <laughs> guys. I feel a little emotional because some of these individuals up here I've been working with since the start of their education and to see them right now getting ready to leave and to go off to do amazing things is just awesome. So congratulations again. At this time I would like to invite Bucko to come and join me on stage for the closing benediction. Please rise if able. Ani Bojo, Minwa. Pray give thanks to Bay Mills Community College, Bay Mills Indian Community. We offer our tobacco to the east, to the eastern wind, eastern thunder. Eastern rain, and we ask for blessings. We offer the tobacco to that, that southern direction, southern wind, and southern thunder. We ask for, for blessings. We offer it to the west, to the western wind, western rain, western thunder, and we ask for blessings. We offer the tobacco to that north, northern wind. Northern rains, and northern thunder, and we ask for blessings. We offer it to our Earth Mother who provides for us our food, our clothing, our shelter, and our medicines. And we ask her to continue to bless us with those things. We offer it to that direction above where we look to the Thomas the Creator, the Great Spirit, God. However, we choose to acknowledge that great mystery, 
We ask him to look down upon us and give us all blessings. We offer tobacco for each and every one that is here. And we ask for them to have a great day, that they have good blessings. These are things that we ask with our tobacco this day. And as our graduates go off into the world, we ask many blessings upon them. Shimmy Gwetch. Thank you. At this time, I would like our flag carriers to come and join me. Get your flags and let's close out this ceremony. And please remain standing at table. Hey!